good. God is good. Good for us to be here.
verse 32. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit ye here, while I shall pray. And he take it with him Peter and James and John, and began to be so amazed, and to be very heavy, and said unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible the hour might pass from him. Mm. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not that I will, but what thou wilt. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldst now thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed and spake the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither wished they what to answer him. And he came the third time and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. The hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me is at hand. If you notice know verse 41, he says, Sleep all now and take your rest. Uh -huh. In verse 42, he says, Rise up, let us go. Uh -huh. Our subject for today, the irreparable past and the available future. The irreparable past and the available future. The irreparable past and the available future. The account with which these verses stand
human Jesus was facing grief and agony yeah. of being separated from his father. Yeah. And their, their staying awake would be of comfort to him. They, they couldn't do anything for him in what he was dealing with. Mm -hmm. He had to work that out with his father for himself. So there are times we really can't do anything for people in what they're dealing with. They have to work it out with God for themselves, but, but we can watch with them. We yeah. can be a comfort to them yes. as they are going through what they're going through. Also, if they stayed awake, they could warn him of the coming of Judas and the mob. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they couldn't stop the mob, but they could at least let him know that they were approaching. So Jesus says, tarry here, sit here, stay awake, stay alert yes. with me while I, I go work this out with my, with my father. When human beings are suffering in agony and pain, it is comforting to them to have other human beings in it with them. Yes. The fact that Jesus needed other human beings in his time of grief and sorrow and agony and misery lets us know that we need others. Yes. And there are some others that need us. Jesus left his human comforters and, and went to pray. And when he returned, he found them doing the exact opposite of what he commanded them to do. They were asleep. And he had already told them, keep your eyes open, stay awake. Yeah. Well, he woke them up and he, he called on people. And he said, Simon, you couldn't watch. Now, the reason he called on Peter is that you will remember Peter was the one that did most of the talking. Peter was the one that, that did most of the promises. Peter was the one that uh, said, Jesus, you can count on me. I don't, I don't know about the rest of my brothers, but you can count on me. And when he needed Peter most, Peter fell asleep. Peter, could you not watch with me? And that time, he told them to watch and pray. Uh -huh. He wanted them to watch with him, but he wanted them to pray for themselves. Uh -huh. The journey with Jesus after Gethsemane would be a real test for the commitment of these disciples. They would be, they would be in testing, they would be in tempting situations. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was saying to them that if you want to be prepared for your test, you must spend some time in prayer. Prayer is our preparation for testing time. Yes. Prayer is our preparation for tempting time. So Jesus said, Watch with me, but pray for yourself, because when you're following me, you will come to some testing times. That, that's where it is, believers. When we're following Jesus, we will come to some times that, that will test our faith, test our commitment, test our determination, and, and the greatest defense against testing time is to pray before the test comes. Come That's what Jesus Come was saying to them. It's going to get rough after a while, uh -huh. so you need to pray now. Uh -huh. So watch for me, but pray for yourself. He went away, and he came back the second time. Uh -huh. At that time, they were asleep again. And he didn't let a syllable fall from his lips. Found them asleep, and he just went away to pray again. Well, he came the third time to check on his, his watchers, to check 
called his comfort, and he found them sleeping again. Mm. They, they slept, yes, when Jesus needed them most. Mm -hmm. But he, he did not hold it against them. He knew that their, their spirit wanted to do it, but their flesh was weak. So let us, let us not be too quick to condemn those that let us down when we need them the most. Okay. It might well be their spirit is willing, but their flesh is, is too weak to stand up to what the spirit wants to do. Okay. Instead of condemning them, Jesus made somewhat of a controversial statement. He said, sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. Then in the same breath, he said, rise up, let us go. So, so how can you sleep and get up and go at the same time? Well, this brings us to our subject, the irreparable past. When Jesus told them to sleep on now, take your rest, it is enough. That word enough means pay in full. Mm -hmm. He was letting them know that his prayer issue in the garden was completed. Mm -hmm. He was letting them know that he had won the victory within himself. He was letting them know that he was now ready to face the enemy. Yeah. Prayer, prayer helps us win internal victory. Yeah, Jesus still had to face the enemy outwardly, yeah. but through prayer, through talking with his father, yeah. through having a little talk with his father, yeah. he was inwardly prepared to face the outward enemy.
We've got to see the text in the spiritual sense. Rise up. Let's go. And what he's saying is, put the past to rest. And get up. Jesus was letting them know that he could still use them. But they had to do two things. They, they failed him that time. And Jesus said, leave, leave that alone. Let, let that go. Let, let, that, let that rest. Uh, you messed that up. Let it, let it rest. But yes, I can still use you. But in order, yes, for Jesus to use them, they had to do two things. First, they had to rise up. They, they had to get up, yes, out of their faith. They had to get beyond moping about their past faith. They had to get beyond feeling sorry for themselves. They had to get beyond trying to explain why they went to sleep. Mm -hmm. He said explaining now won't, won't help anything. So, so let, it, let, it, let it rest. Put it, put it to rest. They had to get up above feeling sorry for themselves about their failures and their shortcomings. They had to get above the fact that that they had failed Jesus when he needed them more. Rise up in spirit. Rise up in your thinking. Rise up in your hope. Rise up in your desire for a better day. Rise up in your desire for a better future than you had, than your past was. Rise up. Yeah. Jesus is saying, I can still use you, mm -hmm. but you've got to get up above your past. Rise up. The second thing they needed to do was go with Jesus. So he said, Rise up. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I, I needed you in this place when I was praying, but I don't need you in this place now. Mm -hmm. I need you to go with me. Jesus was on his way to face Judas and the mob. Mm -hmm. The disciples were not prepared to face Judas and the mob mm -hmm. because they slept when they should have been praying. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was prepared because he prayed when they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. Prayer will get you ready to face the mob. Mm -hmm. 
and our brothers and sisters right here in this text. Jesus says, yes, your past is your past. You can't fix it. You can't change it. You can't undo it. So let it sleep. But there is, yeah, an available future. If you just rise up out of your failed past, you can have, yes, a brighter future with Jesus Christ. You can still be a blessing to someone. You can still have a brighter future. You can still have joy.
have a bright future. As long as you are giving up to your past, or where you live, or where you are listening, and you feel the need to have other Christians pray with you. Let their past rest. 